Oh yeah. Feel the euphoria. Thank you very much, my good sir. Always a pleasure to see you strumming away. Have a good one. And, um, and you're happy for me to use this as an intro? Good man, take care. You don't need to have poison dart frog hair, but it, it helps. Oh my. Okay. Whoa. I thought she was going to attack me there. The universe did not allow dogs to speak so that we could learn that love and loyalty are actions, not words. That's the John Rylands Library, built by his wife after he passed away as a show of love for a great man. But anyway, speaking of great men, someone's come out of custody with uh, their Doc Martens and uh, GMP tag. And you'll see this all over Manchester. People released from custody, just dumping their clothes on the street. Top of the morning to you, big giant Irish, Irish, what is it? It's a Land Rover. But uh, we're back in, oh, S580, they're getting bigger. We're back in St. Anne's Square. And why is there a crowd? Why is there police? Why are they playing copyrighted music just to piss me off? Huh? Huh? Hey, morning, Tom. Ooh, I'm blinded, Bo. It's a boxing thing. Let's watch some low IQ people beat the absolute F-U-C-K out of each other. Oh, that's just an average weekend for uh, the police at Notting Hill Carnival. You can tell by the crowds, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon on a random Wednesday, and the peons love it. They love it. Now, there's a lady in the boxing ring. I learned from the film Million Dollar Baby, you should never let a woman in the boxing ring. Look at that. Something to do with boxer, boxer with two X's. Look at that, boxer with two X's. Behind the scenes, a boxer, boxer with two X's. So we got cops, cops everywhere. Look at this, the Sky Sports, the Sky Sports. Okay, short clips because of the copyrighted music, but you can see they're all getting very excited. I don't know, that fight looks staged. That guy could knock her out with one punch. Look at that, he's going easy on her. See the boxers and then you see the soft, pudgy man from Sky Sports. is what would God want? God would want a man and a woman to fight each other in a ring. This is like a Charlie Veach video live, is uh, people fighting in the middle and a whole bunch of audience going, wow! What? Florence Marcou, the Albanian king, he says. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's going to do well. So, uh, yeah, a lot of controversy around the other guys saying no faces. I've just spoken to these two guys here, explained to them, and they said, I don't, we don't care. It's not a problem whether you get our faces or not. But, uh, it's a sunny day, the first sunny day in like 30 days. We've had a few sunny spells, but today's gonna be sunny all day. That moment when they catch the Burberry capped criminal mastermind. He's busted now. Who knows what he's got in his chair. I think Ian Wright's fallen on some hard times since he quit football. Is that Katie Price's son's dad, Ian Wright? Am I thinking of the right footballer? Fallen on hard times, very hard times. So, this here, you won't believe it. Oh no, they're shutting the door on me. Is the British Transport Police Office, but also the Consulate General of Portugal. Look at all the Portuguese hanging out, waiting to do their visa stuff. Oh, 
Oh, come here, come on, talk. Look at this. Are you a Shih Tzu? Max, you cute doggy. Look at that. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, did I He's watching the Charlie Beach channel. What, what are you watching, Max? <laughs> think about this. I think it's complete and utter shit. Utter shit. So, I mean, obviously, everyone in my family, we've all took our three yeah, doses, but. Have you, have you taken the vaccine? I have, all three doses, as soon as I was called up to do so. And what do you, it was my civic duty to do so. Okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Just, and uh, what do you think of their claims about the people that died suddenly or stuff like that? I think there's all other reasons behind, and also, yeah, some people did die of the vaccine, but that was a very, very minute amount of people. Yeah. And I think scaremongering. Yeah. And I think it preys on the weaker-minded. Yeah. So I don't... I think and do you think... Um, no, I, did you uh, do you know anyone that took the vaccine and had any bad side effects? Everyone's okay. No, everyone's good. Okay. I just I don't mind seeing other sides because obviously everyone's entitled to their opinion. But I yeah. think putting it in such a big public space. Yeah, but do you think that there is an element? You know, I'm from Canada. Yeah. There's an element of free speech that they should be allowed to say their opinions here. Yeah, but I also think the people who are part of this campaign also impose their ideas on people. Like shouting at people in the middle of the street yeah. about it, I think is... But are they any different wrong. than an advertising billboard or TV or a magazine? Are they any different? But it's advertising false or fabricated news, which is, yeah. I think, wrong, about anything. Oh. That's why. Well, thank you. Thank you for your thank opinions. You. Well, I'm going to get a few more. I'm going to get a few more snaps. And uh, no I don't know. For me, I think it's... I don't think they can hurt hurt anyone. No, 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 God, no, no, totally independent. But I just think it's good to have the debate at least. Yeah, but I think there's a way about going about it. Right. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Well, my regular viewers will know I was doing a bit of false flag uh, mimicry there. I was mimicking a normie to get that interview. I just want to state the facts. I did not take any of the COVID vaccines, and I am not Canadian. Okay, it's witching hour at McDonald's. It's the it's the, the magical hour when school's out and they're, they're looking for someone. Who is it? Who is it? Okay, they've got all the big boys out. One, two, three, four, five, and then the one behind me, six. Six police officers. They are waiting for something. Waiting for Godot. Waiting for Godot. Wait forever. The female officer's gone in, but uh, we will capture you all the action as it happens. As it happens, we'll, we'll even have to go into McDonald's. I, I need total coverage. Uh, okay, we'll go in. We're going in. Don't know why I'm moaning. I had a double cheeseburger the other day. I shouldn't moan. Anyway, the hunt begins. There's a few officers upstairs. Let's follow these ones here. Here we go. Here we go. This is what you guys want. Yeah. McDonald's search. Let it begin. Where is he? Oh, wait, copyrighted music, oh no. So to my right, we've got the experimental jab discussers. And in front, uh, police, four transit vans just pulled up. Sirens blazing, blue lights lighting, and uh, they're off as quickly as they've arrived. Now, I had a chat with the police at McDonald's a minute ago, and they still haven't found who they're looking for. And uh, I hope they do find them. But uh, needle in the haystack, boys. Needle in the haystack. Okay, uh, the city's hottening, hottening up, heating up, <laughs> hottening, hottening up. Well, the camera has an effect. No, dude, 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 no, 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 dude, 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 put your bottle down as well, mate. Put your bottle down. Put your bottle down. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you. Don't 
We're maintaining a distance. I know the officer, very friendly guy. I know the female officer as well. Um, he asked me if I could step back a few steps, and of course I can. What do you mean, you? Why? Because I want to, bro. I am Charlie Reed. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. How are you? Guy shouting, no camera at me. What's wrong? What's wrong, bro? You want to come argue about it? No, you don't, do you? <laughs> Guys, it's none of your business while I'm recording. This is England. This is England, boys. You can do whatever you want. As long as you don't break the law. Sorry? Yes, Eleanor. Yeah, Eleanor. Why? Because uh, she needed it. Yes, I gave Eleanor. You might remember Eleanor from the crackhead days. I gave her 20 pounds. Poor thing. Oh, they've released him. He is free to go. Oh, I see him. He's down there. He's very upset. But, uh, like, you know when dogs argue when there's a fence in the way, they're very loud and aggressive. When you're being held back by the police, you can get as angry as you want at the cameraman. And then when the, when the police let you go, instead of keeping on barking, he realizes the big dog can get you. So he doesn't keep on <laughs> arguing and fighting anymore. There you go. When I shout, this is England, at a bunch of ungrateful, angry people telling me off for filming in public, what I mean is England is the home, the home of libertarian, freedom-loving thinking. Let's not forget it was the English who spawned the Americans who gave us the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. It was the English who gave us John Locke, David Hume, and Adam Smith, great proponents of freedom. And it was also the English who in the 1840s banned slavery all over the British Empire. So it does anger me sometimes when I'm going around filming openly and people try and crowd around me and intimidate me especially that scumbag with the Courvoisier cognac bottle that's all I wanted to say about the this is England shout is this the gentleman you all called Billy Idol in my previous video oh wait Choice. Which isn't good for the immune system. That's the former Debenham site in the background, and uh, directly behind the officers is the spot where I did the Sparta kick against the guy who was going to snap my JAW. Hi, Army. I just got out of prison. I'm going to snap your jaw. So, uh, two days ago in the Manchester Evening News, the Chief of Police of Greater Manchester Police stated that they're going to return Piccadilly Circus, Piccadilly Gardens, sorry, Piccadilly Gardens, to the tourists, to the residents, to the families. They're going to clear it up completely. Now, I've heard it all before, heard it all before, over the last decade, but I think this time they're serious because they've been bombarded by uh, three or four years now of uh, high-quality uh, crackhead degeneracy to the point where Manchester is becoming world famous as a crackhead city. It's, it's not meant to be like Detroit, but it kind of is. Keeping an eye out. So, the, 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 just to fill you all in, the big worry, the big, hey man, the big problem is the bunch of underage teenage girls who hang out with the over 18 African and Afghani and Albanian and Romanian dudes here, obviously doing narcotic related activities and uh, it's not right. I've had chats with actual officers about they wish they had the, the police powers to just go in there with truncheons and sort it out, take the girls home to their, to their negligent parents. This is getting a bit dark now. Let's just see what goes on. Can I film your dog very quickly? That's a beautiful doggy. Look at that. So uh, where did you get this giant wolf from? Where does one buy a wolf? Can I put pet? Look at that. What a beautiful big dog. It's Alsatian. Yeah. Beautiful. I love the coloration as well. Wow, thank you. You're a handsome boy. Well, thank you very much, madam.
Oh, no, you meant the dog, I know. <laughs> no, no. I meant you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Anyway, I'm not your enemy. I'm not your enemy. Why are you taking picture because it's sleeping? Why, why am I calling people drug dealers? Oh God, it, it wasn't recording. I need to do it again. All you underage girls, go home and stop hanging out with over 18 drug dealers. Are you a drug dealer? Shut up, you. Are you a drug dealer? Shut up, not your business. Are you sure you're not a drug dealer? Shut up, man. All right. I'm a crackpot. I'm a crack dealer. Dude, stand back a bit, dude. Come on. What? If you see you outside the city, I'll rob you. You're gonna rob me if you yeah. see me outside the city. Yeah, you think? Like of you. you reckon? Yeah. I'll you rob. reckon? Yeah, You're gonna I rob me? I'll rob you. No, no, dude. I'm gonna rob you of your dignity. Oh, my mom's life. I'll rob you if you see you outside the city. Outside the city. Uh, next to the police. Anyway, city. anyway, you see you outside anyway. The city, how would you like it if I went to your home country and spoke to the natives the way you're what speaking to me? About the country, you what? What is your home country for you to come here and speak to the natives like this? What country are you from? Fuck off, not your business. Oh, very friendly. I don't understand what I'm saying. No, no, I do, I do. I asked him. First of all, he's taking people pictures and calling everyone. No problem, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, go on. I just, that's going to keep escalating. Yeah. Unless we move away. Yeah. They, they're not going to move. They're not going to be rational, or I know. But also at the same time, yeah. I'm not entirely comfortable with you saying, this, like, how would you like if I go to your country? Why not? Because, well, at that point, do you know what country this is from? You're making. No, but I'm asking him what country he's from. And as a police. Anyway, just so you know, I, I am recording. Just yeah, the audio. I know, you always record. I know, I know. So just but a courtesy to you. But surely. I can ask a gentleman who's acting in a rude manner, would, would you be happy if I went to your home country and spoke to the natives like that? That's, that's a hypothetical rhetorical question about the fact that he's here in England. I'm just, I'm just saying you're going to start, there's going to be tensions that are going to be raised from that. You Absolutely. See, it's, it's aggravated them and I don't, I know that's good for your YouTube. Yeah. But I don't want, I don't want to start having right. to deal with the you consequences of that. Because if I they, know your role is to keep the peace and so I understand and you know, you're right, you got a point, but I just don't want you to think that I'm being a bigot or a racist or any just for asking the man if he would be upset with going to you know I don't think that's racist in any way I'm not saying you're being racist I'm saying I there know. could be some sensitivity about the fact that do you actually know that he's not born in this country by his accent I can tell 100% by his accent just, I can tell 100% just double check I know okay. but no problem but thank you anyway but at the end of the day so uh, you're all now going well, Charlie why are you not in Piccadilly Gardens anymore so you, you saw the conversation I had with the officer I always warn people I'm recording when they're chatting to me in that way because there's nothing more disgusting than secretly recording people. We all wear a mask, we're all on stage, and uh, someone tried to secretly record me many years ago in London. And, uh, but for the grace of God, I didn't say anything spicy because we all have a private word. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's not polite to secretly record people. I am of the Frankfurt School, not the Vienna School. The Frankfurt School says, let people know you're filming them, make them be okay with the camera. So, as we were, I switched the camera off, chatted to the officer. He explained that he believed the, the situation was going to escalate if I carried on filming there. And literally, the moment I stopped filming, a bunch of Somali, Eritrean dudes came back and the police actually had to hold them back and they're like, oh, blood, 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 we want to talk to you, we want to talk to you. They didn't want to talk to me. They wanted to attack me. And uh, here I am, and you're Rocket Queen. I might seem a little young, but honey, I ain't naive. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'll check this out, look at this. I'm literally there, you can see me. She's live streaming, people are coming. Yeah, Charlie Veach, it is, look. That is amazing. That is very cool. This is like some sort of weird Inception space-time collapse thing. Do you ever see me in your, in your comments? What's your name in my comments? Nikita. Miss Nikita. I'm sure I have. Have I hearted your comments? Maybe. I, I hope so. Well, I better now, yeah. But <laughs> thank you, Miss Nikita. All the best to you. Okay, darling viewers, we're going to go back to Piccadilly Gardens. I think my, uh, the police advice has expired. I complied to avoid a riot. And uh, in all truthfulness, I know I was ranting about it a second ago. Uh, I think he called it right. They were uh, starting to swarm when I was uh, politely advised it might be a good idea to leave the square. So uh, we'll go back and have a look. 
Even the kids know. Look at that. Don't take the flu, flu, nasal flu oh, there you go. vaccine. They are angry at the Tories, i.e. the Conservative Party. We serve beer colder than the Tories' hearts. And up here in the north of England, they blame the Tories for the uh, collapse of uh, manufacturing and uh, mining and general construct. You know, maybe they're right. Maybe it's fuck the Tories. Well, it's the, um, the last dregs of the boxing event. Look at this. IFX payments. Force Irish Stout. Forged. Wow, hydrate. There's a guy there in the... Wait, what's going on here? I reckon I could beat the shit out of all these men. I wouldn't even need gloves. I don't need practice. These are all pussy boys. That's why they do... Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I do understand. So Noah, uh, there's like the Paul Logan, there's KSI, there's other, there's, um, what's his name, Sam, Sam Hyde? Sam Hyde. All these YouTube, much bigger than my channel, of course, but doing celebrity boxing. I'm here to, I'm here to challenge all you medium-sized YouTubers. And if you got anywhere from a quarter million to a million subscribers, I'll see you in the ring. Now kick your bitchy little ass, punk. All right, we've got a new drunkard, guys. He's the drunkest man in Manchester. Blue jacket, straight head, black backpack, of course. The drunkest drunkard in Manchester. Sorry, not you. No, no, I know you're perfectly sober. I mean that guy over there, not you. No, I have my consent. What? Well, are you drinking? Are you drinking at this time of day? I, I'm drinking. I'm, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah. I, I'm 21 centimeters. I'm East European. I, I, I oh, what just, country are you from? What country? I just fight. Uh, yeah. Police. They could say. No problem. But, uh, but good, luck, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. See you later. <laughs> hey, man. You okay? You all right? Wait, let's see, wait. Wait. You're not still drinking, are you? You're not still drinking alcohol at this time of day. I don't want it. Come on. No, oh, no, no, I don't want Pinor. No Pinor, but good luck, good luck, good luck. Take care, man. Come see on, you. Come on. No, you're too drunk, too drunk. You're not my type. That's it, Warren, I'm with Warren. Warren will protect me. Warren will protect me. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, shit, oh, shit. No, don't prosecute me. No, don't put the beer down. No, no, no. Come on, let's finish again. Wait, are you still drinking alcohol at this time of day? Why not? Why not? It's a free country. Anyway, don't worry about it. No, 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 you're too drunk. I don't want to get... With cancer? Well, that's changed the whole bloody mood of my video now. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. And I hope you get better. Nazdarovia? I'm not Russian. No, Slava Ukraini. Slava, Slava Ukraina, Ukraina, Russia. Thank you. Thank you, Warren. All the best to you. Remember, you're going to be my political advisor. Who is the next yes. army? Who is the next army here? Too honest. <laughs> I could get them. Well, Thank you. All right. Well, God bless you. Slava Ukraini. And I'm going to go film some other people. Take care. Okay. As you will see behind me, there's the uh, mating rituals, but it's very disturbing and debauched. It's a bunch of 30 and 40 something men hanging out with 13, 14 year old. English girls. I'm not accusing them of doing anything illegal, but I am. So they should all be sorted out. Argument. Well, thank you, John. Thank you. Arguing about the the medication. Apologies for the audio. There was a comment in the last video. The audio sometimes isn't uh, very good at uh, picking up people in noisy places. What's my, what's my drunkard friend up to now? Who's he? Where, where's he diving headlong into now? Ah, he's all right. He's all right. We're best friends now, me and the drunkard. <laughs>